what is going on everybody we are at beautiful beautiful county maryland and this is an update to the mercedes benz that i bought three months ago and this is the c350 w204 here's a quick look at the exterior actually the mercedes benz guys at the dealership cleaned it up for me but i don't think they really did a good job <laughs> yeah the pollen just took over the black and ruined the paint job go ahead and check the inside we got the wood trim well actually i don't even know if it's real or not but soft plastics mb techs that's the back surprisingly this back is quite spacious uh, i'm about five six I'm 5'6", so I'm quite short. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of headroom. There's a trunk as well. Now, one thing I noticed about the trunk is that if you get the base model, which I have here, you're not able to flip the freaking seats down. And that is actually quite a bummer because my career as a videographer requires me to pull a lot of heavy, long stuff. And guess what? It doesn't do justice that I can't fold down the seats. Although, it is a good thing because nobody can steal my stuff. One thing I like about this is that I'm able to just hold the key to open the trunk and it opens by itself. Obviously, you have to close. We're not living in 2020. We're living in 2008 with this one. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. And here it is. Here's the good old reliable V6 M272 really really clean actually well because i cleaned it <laughs> i don't know i was just, i don't know why i'm appraising myself for this one relatively dry here we got it checked out yesterday actually by the dealership i'm gonna make sure that's closed i think i already said this before in the previous video that i made with this car this engine is just absolutely perfect for daily drivability one thing i really love about this engine is that it feels under stress and what I mean by that is that whenever you just drive the car, it doesn't even feel like the engine is running. That's how much this engine is well refined for its time. And we're going to go ahead and start it up. There are a few things I need to do with this car. Uh, one of them is definitely going to be doing spark plugs and all the maintenance necessities that this car needs, especially at 86,000 miles, which is the miles where you're going to be replacing, you know, spark plugs, air filter, transmission fluid, etc. So that is pretty much part of the maintenance routine for this mileage. But other than that, this car has been a tremendous trooper. I've driven this car about 300 to 400 miles of long trips i will be adding a tune to this soon i just want to make sure everything is right service wise and maintenance wise especially putting a tune because by the time you put a tune on this on these cars that's when things go wrong especially with german so you want to make sure that everything is just absolutely perfect when it comes to how the the car is in general overall health so there are a few things when it comes to what went wrong with this car uh, one of them is my cheap led lights from amazon they actually went out funnily enough but luckily i bought two sets so i had like four totals of bulbs so i have extra two and i did replace that that was not an issue however 
it did die in the middle of me driving a three hour road trip so we didn't really get to uh, drive at night so that was good uh, another one of those things is my seat ripped it's not a real leather so this is not real leather at all it is synthetic MB Tex and over time especially at this age and mileage it tends to get ripped that's why you have to be really careful to maintain these but they don't get too cold in the winter which I really like however they tend to get fragile over time uh, that's just regular however it's very cheap to fix over time these little rubber coatings around the switches tend to get rubbed off and so far on the steering wheel there's nothing that is really rubbing off yet but on the window switches especially on the right side and the left side front they are starting to wear out and that's just three months of use so even the lock switches but hey you know it, it is an old car it's almost 15 years old uh, under the hood there are a few things I need to get through uh, one of them is the cam plugs obviously those are very common issues with these cars it's not really expensive it's about like 30 to 40 bucks when it comes to the part those are one of the things that you know that is generally just goes bad over time especially rubber but that's a very minor issue in comparison to what I had with my Audi where it's just everything is just leaking all over the place and this one is just the little, little you know things. When it comes to drivability on a daily basis with this car, I have absolutely no complaints at all. It's very comfortable, you know the seats don't get too cold in the winter, but they do tend to get hot over the summer, but I mean I, I guess that's every seat except for cloth seats. Steering wheel is okay, it is a little bit thin, but you know what, it's, it's better than having that grandpa steering wheels that a lot of Mercedes have. <laughs> this car makes you not want to drive fast because of how comfortable it is. Uh, it just glides, it's just, even with a sport package with a lower suspension, this car is still relatively comfortable as long as the roads are good. But when it comes to the roads being, you know, full of potholes, especially in Baltimore, that's where the comfortability tends to uh, suffer a lot. But I mean, I guess that's why it is when you hit potholes, right? <laughs> yeah, so, that's pretty much it. I really don't have any complaints when it comes to this car so far at 5,000 miles. I mean, I'm trying to make up what I missed, but overall it's just maintenance to take care of, especially at this mileage when it's starting to reach 100,000 miles and 15,000. So you want to make sure that it just gets covered. Uh, you see these cars a lot with over 200 to 300,000 miles. So there really is no issues when it comes to just driving this car you know forever uh, as long as you take care of it very well uh, I mean that's self-explanatory right even a Camry or a Toyota or a Lexus or whatever you might you must at least do oil changes tire rotations wheel alignment blah 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 go ahead and take overtake this guy oh it's an old lady 